I'm just going to resume the previous video and I'm going to show you how to parse a string to a boolean and uh, we're just going to have a string let's say um, we have an online store and we want to see if it is that item in uh, available still in stock and we're going to say is item in stock and we're going to have let's say a value of true or let's make things a bit more complicated let's just make it like this and so we're going to see if um, if this uh, can be converted to a boolean and we're going to have a boolean variable and we're going to say boolean um, is item in stock check and we're going to see if this um, this check that we're making is actually a valid one so we're going to say boolean dot parse boolean as you can see right here we're using this uh, boolean class with ha which has um, um, this uh, capital initial and then we say parse boolean and we're parsing this is item in stock uh, string and we're gonna see if it is or not in stock or item and we're gonna say we're gonna use this toast message and we're gonna say is item in stock check and then what we can do is we can display a message if it is in stock and a message if it's not in stock so as you can see right now if you're using this um, question mark operator you can uh, you can basically check inside this uh, this uh, toast message you can check whether this uh, has something uh, true in it a true value inside it then it will display this message otherwise we're putting a colon it will display this message so first of all we're just going to see in case it is true item is in stock item otherwise item is not in stock and so this is another usage of the boolean variables you can use them with this um, question mark operator and so as you can see we can display messages accordingly and right now we're going to see whether this uh, true string will be parsed as uh, the boolean variable true and if it is parsed as true then we're going to see item is in stock if it cannot parse it as true then we're going to see item is not in stock and we're going to see this just right now we're going to see a message on the screen we're expecting to see that the item is in stock and that's what it is on the screen because this um, this boolean parse boolean function is not case sensitive so that means that it can read uh, and recognize uh, if it's true even if you have everything in uppercase normally um, the true uh, boolean value is true like this with all lowercase and so that's how it should be working and also you can have something that is not distinguishable and then normally if you have something like this it cannot parse whether it's true or false and by default just returns false and we're gonna see item is not in stock so I'm gonna run again the emulator and uh, we're gonna see that item is not in stock and so as you can see right now this is what it is displayed on the screen